here on GoPSUSports.com with offensive lineman Ryan Bates. And Ryan, how exciting is it to be back here in Beaver Stadium right now, getting ready for the home opener? It's very exciting. Uh, you know, I can't wait to come out here and hit somebody else rather than my own team. <laughs> when you think about training camp, you know, what was most exciting to you? I know training camp sometimes not always exciting, but things that impressed you, especially with this growing offensive line. Um, honestly, the best part about camp is having them be back healthy. You know, man back, Nelly back, you know, they're all feeling 100%. And it's good to have, you know, older guys back and to be leaders on the offensive line. You mentioned Brendan Mann and Andrew Nelson. I know you had them even when they were on the sidelines, but how exciting is it and how much better does that make everything, you know, having them taking reps with you guys? It's awesome. You know, they're considered, you know, two older guys and they're considered generals on the field for us. You know, they've been around, they've been around the block a couple of times and they know what they're doing. You know, offensive line, I think there were seven different starting combinations last year. How much experience did that kind of give everybody having to be able to move? You yourself also making a move. How much better did that make everybody? Um, you know, for offensive linemen, um, versatility is, you know, it's a, it's a lot of help. Uh, you can move guys every which way. And it's nice to have the ability to put guys in different, different spots, you know, moving around throughout the season. Another move that we kind of saw, Connor McGovern taking command of that uh, center position. You know, what have you seen from him, not only getting adjusted to kind of the technical aspects of it, but also the leadership aspect of that position? Um, Connor's doing a great job so far, you know, throughout the summer camp and, you know, this preseason. He's really taking a step up, I feel like. Um, you know, being at center, you know, they, they're, a real vo they're supposed to be real vocal on the field. And, you know, him coming from a true freshman now to a true sophomore, he's had a year under his belt. He's doing a lot better than he was yet last year. Anything specific that you know you've kind of said to him, or, or just kind of helped him along? Anybody particularly working with him? Um, not that I can think of the top of my head. Um, you know, we always get on Connor because he's a quiet dude, mm -hmm. and you know he's got to be real loud on the field. And I think he's doing a lot better job with that this year. Speaking of him being a quiet guy, you know, so many different personalities among the offensive line. And what's the chemistry like? How does everybody all work together? We're one big group of big babies. That's what that's what <laughs> we are. That's what I consider ourselves. We're just giant kids. You know, we like to have fun. Um, you know, we're all good friends in the room, off the field, on the field. Um, I think we're just, we like to have fun, and that's the, best, best, that's the best part about it. Speaking of off the field, I feel like I always see, you know, you guys all together with Coach Limegrover kind of going out and working in the community. Tell me a little bit about kind of what goes on in, in those types of community service areas and, and what type of pride you guys take in being able to do that. Um, being for offensive linemen and, and college football players in general, you know, being the position we are right now, we're very lucky. And, you know, we, f we feel a need to give back to the community, and we try to do that as, as often as possible. All right. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you back here on Saturday in Beaver Stadium. As well as I am. Thank you so much. No problem.